My name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR, Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. And I'm so glad to be back with you this week here on Behind the Scenes. And this is a program that we tape right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street. We're on the second floor of the building here in Quincy, Illinois. This program is an exciting program to me because we get to let you know what God is doing here right now at the station, what he's done the past week, and the events coming up. So God is on the move here. And I'm so thankful that so many of you support WTJR with your prayers, with your financial support, and with your words of encouragement. Because we get emails, we get notes with our donations when you send them in, and we're so thankful for those words of encouragement. Because we know that God is touching people's hearts every single day with the good news. Yes, WTJR, working till Jesus returns. We are proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Well, let's start. We've got pictures for a couple of weeks here. So we're going to start with Pray 16. This was uh, about three, well, really three weeks ago. Uh, This uh, is hosted by Pastor Gary Wallace. He pastors River of Life Church here in Quincy. And his guest was Pastor Robert Axton of the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. He was so kind, he and his wife, to come and and pray for the request. Kind of shows you in the studio, uh, in the production room, uh, even out in the lobby. You'll see some pictures with the um, telephone operators. We have several people here on Fridays for our live programming. There you can see Penny on the camera filming out in the lobby. George was bringing a short message during a one of the uh, breaks, and Phyllis there to answer the phones, monitors. And then the next week, uh, our dear friends Bruce and Maxine Rice from WGCA were here with Gary to talk about the concert of prayer that will be coming up on Sunday, February 25th. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Again, some more pictures in the studio as they're uh, on live. We're not only live on WTJR, we're live on Facebook on Fridays. Amen. And then our dear uh, brother in Christ, John Furness, he's a Bible teacher, was here to tape Simple Truth programs. And then this last, very last Friday, uh, Bob Newton, he's an evangelist. He has a tent ministry. Uh, He's from Winfield, Iowa with Powerhouse Ministries. And Beth Foster, she and her husband Joe are part of the team with Powerhouse Ministries. And they were here to pray over the prayer request this very last Friday. It was so good to have him here. And, of course, we had the special event, the Elijah Elisha Impartation Weekend that uh, Bob was a part of. So they were very kind to come early and and pray with us. We also taped some Pastor Speaks programs last week. This is a new pastor to the city of Quincy. He pastors at Central Baptist Church. His name is Jason Summerfield. And he was here to bring forth a message on Pastor Speaks. You can watch that in the next few weeks. And we also had evangelist Stephen Weiss from over by Springfield, Illinois. And he brought a powerful message also. So be sure. Uh, Pray 16, let me let you know when that, I mean not Pray 16, but Pastor Speaks. uh, Well, I've got the hours a little later. We'll we'll talk about that some more too. And we taped some outreach connection programs, which is hosted by Sherry McDaniel. And there on the far left is Tony Cunningham with uh, Victoria's Living Program here in Quincy, Illinois. And in the middle is Matthew McKenzie. And he also uh, helps and works with the Victoria's Living Program and gave his testimony on the program. Amen. Here we are getting mic'd up, getting ready to tape programs. And we also taped a program with some ladies from the War Room. uh, Let me get this right. War Room Daughters. Um, their war room are their prayer warriors is what they are from Memphis, Missouri, the Lighthouse Faith Church there, and they're going to have a ladies retreat coming up in April, and they were here to invite us to that. So you want to be sure and watch that. And uh, I, I love Outreach Connection because we get to introduce you to people in the surrounding area, not only in Quincy, but in different outreach ministries, or they're having a retreat, or a marriage seminar, or, you know, just so many things that can help us in our walk with the Lord. Amen? Amen. Okay, we are moving on to HD. I'll tell you what, it's getting closer and closer. HD stands for High Definition. 
We're doing a production upgrade here at WTJR, which involves switcher, cameras, three cameras, and some lighting equipment. And right now, we had a, a goal of $20,000. We have now collected, or you have been so kind to donate, $17,536. Just about $2,500. I'll tell you, I'm getting excited. Getting excited to be able to sit down with Jim and we plan that order and start seeing it come into the studio. And, and we'll have pictures for you and show you as we progress, to, as we move on to this HD here at WTJR. But until then, we still need your help. So if you could help us reach that $2,500 more, please send your donation here to WTJR. Or if you come by the studio, we'd love to meet you. We'd love to pray with you. But if you uh, send a check, be sure you mark on your check that it is for the HD fund. Okay? So we get it in the right account. And uh, it just help us to move on to HD here. Thank you so much, all of you who have given for this fund. Amen. We want to invite you here to the WTGR studio. On the second floor, we do have an elevator, and we have prayer on Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m. Now, I know you can pray by yourself, but there's just something about corporate prayer. And yes, we come in the, in the studio here, and we may be by ourselves and pray for a while. We may go pray with someone else, pray for them. You know, it's how God leads us, but it's a precious time of drawing close to God. And I want to invite you to come and join us on Mondays at 1 p.m. right here at WTJR. If you need prayer anytime, call the number on the screen, 217-228-1616. You can email your prayer request to, WT, to uh, pray16 at WTJR.org. And um, we will be more than glad to pray with you. The Pray 16 live call-in prayer program that we had pictures there at the beginning of the program. That airs live on Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 noon, hosted by Gary Wallace, pastor at River of Life Church. We repeat this program on Monday evenings at 9 p.m. And even though it's a repeat, we do have a phone operator, so still go ahead and call in. If you'd ever call in and get the answering machine, I would ask you to please leave your name and your phone number. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You can also watch Pray 16 live on our Facebook page. And many of you do that. And you can also send your prayer request by social media. First Thursday prayer, I'll tell you, the month of February is just rolling by. And it's almost March. Yeah, almost March. The first Thursday prayer will be on Thursday, March 1st, right here at the studio at 6.30 p.m. Like I said, we have an elevator available. We are here on the second floor, and we have several that have been faithful to come on Thursday nights and pray with us. We pray over the prayer requests that people call in. Uh, we pray on Pray 16 for them also. But we also have about 40 prayer intercessors that we send a prayer letter out to. We pray over those requests. So when you call in here for prayer, you get a lot of prayer. And we stand in faith, believing God hears and answers prayer with you. Amen. So winning training, if you're interested in... Uh, being trained uh, to tell people about Jesus. Wow, there's no greater, no greater gift that God has given us than that um, desire to tell somebody about Jesus. I'll tell you, that's the best thing to share with anybody. And we use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening, and we will train you with that. Pray with you. We'll train. We'll go out with you. And so give us a call there if you want personal training. If you want a group training. If you want us to come to our church. Uh, we'd be glad to come and help you with that. Thank you. Seeking Seek God for the City 2018. This started on Wednesday, February 14th. But it's a 40 days of prayer up through Palm Sunday, which is March 25th. 40 days of biblical prayer bringing hope to uh, us individually, uh, to our country, to our to the nations. We just pray for everyone in this book. They're wonderful daily devotions. I still have a few of these booklets. If you need one, you can come by the studio or give us a call. We could put it in the mail yet. But you still have time to join us for Seeking God for the City 2018. Amen. I want to invite you to a concert of prayer.
That will be on Sunday, February 25th at 4 p.m. It's going to be held in the community room at the Quincy Mall. And this is a part of the March for Jesus. The Committee for March for Jesus, we feel that we wanted to do something each month to keep the unity, to keep us coming together praising and lifting up the name of Jesus together. So this will be a concert of prayer. You're all welcome to come on Sunday, February 25th at 4 p.m. at the community room at the Quincy Mall here in Quincy. Revive America, a live program. We'll be coming up on Tuesday, March the 6th with Evangelist Robert Newton with Powerhouse Ministries. The worship music this coming time will be by Mr. Bruce Rice with WGCA. Many of you know Bruce, wonderful, wonderful worship leader. And you can watch it live on Facebook besides WTJR Channel 16.1. We have Revive America each month, the first Tuesday of the month, live on Facebook and WTJR, and the music starts at 7 p.m. and the message at 7.30. Postage stamps, we're still collecting the stamps to purchase books for missionaries to teach in other countries. And my prayer is they learn to read so they can read the Bible. Uh, you can drop them off here by the studio or I'll put them in the mail. A lot of you put your stamps in with your donation checks, and I thank you for that. And uh, again, we are still collecting the postage stamps. Coming up on A Woman's Joy this next week will be part two of the interview uh, with uh, Donna Kaczynski. And Donna is from the Sherwood Ministries in Litchfield, Illinois. And she was on this past week, gave her testimony, powerful testimony of deliverance and coming to know Jesus as her Lord and Savior. This week she'll talk about the ministry work she's involved in. You can watch that on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up on Outreach Connection this next week, which is hosted by Sherry McDaniel, our guests are Dennis Mayer and Susie Sutton. And that will air on Monday, February 26th at 11 a.m., Wednesday, February 28th at 9 p.m., and Saturday, March 3rd at 5 p.m. And Dennis and Susie are with REC, Residents Encounter Christ, and it's a prison ministry. So you want to be sure and watch that this coming week. Coming up on Pastor Speaks, we have Pastor Paul Washington. He pastors Promised Land Family Church in Monroe City, Missouri. The message is, Bring Me Another Vessel. You can watch that on Sunday, February the 25th at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 27th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 28th at 7.30 p.m. Our movie coming up on the Family Movie Night is The Parodical. And this will air on Saturday, March the 3rd at 8 p.m. and Sunday, March the 4th at 11.30 p.m. And this movie we have shown before, but it's a very good movie. And you know, I've been praying. I've had the prodigals on my mind a lot. I really believe this year we're going to see the prodigals coming home. I myself have some prodigals in my family, and I'm sure you do too. So continue. Lift them up in prayer. Don't ever stop praying for them. Okay, and we're going to believe that this will be the time that they will say yes, and they'll come back home. So let's watch a promo of this movie, The Prodigal. I know, Dad. All my life I've worked to get ahead. I've struggled for status in the company for myself and for my family. Everything I've done has been to make a better life for all of us. But lately, every choice I've made, no matter how carefully I've made it, it seems that someone gets hurt. Maybe there aren't any safe choices, Dad. What does this place have to offer for someone of your potential? Wasn't it Jesus who said that the poor will always be with us? Everybody's with us. I want to be down here for these people. I 
want to live it out. All of it. Amen. Amen. Like I said, keep praying for the prodigals. And if you know of someone that maybe has walked away from God, it might be a good time to invite them over to your home. Say, why don't you come over? I'll make some popcorn. I, I, I believe people still like to eat popcorn when they watch movies. Maybe you like your nachos, your chips and dip. But invite them over just to spend some time with you maybe and, and watch this movie. But this is a movie that will air on Saturday. March the 3rd at 8 p.m. and Sunday, March the 4th at 11.30 p.m. Amen. I have a few letters here that, um, first of all, I have a, this came in uh, on Pray 16 Day. Someone called in, said, Pray the Lord bring back the two guys from Olive Branch Ministries. I learned so much, and, and many of us love that program, Friends of Wild Olive Branch with Kyle Kopp and David Vance. And we've talked with them. They've not given the idea up, but they're just praying about it. See what God would want. Amen. It says, Praying for staff here at WTJR, Pastor Gary and George. Donette, Karen, Jim, Nick, and their families. God, care for them in every way. And I thank you so very much for that prayer. I tell you, your prayers mean so very much to us. And uh, I, I love it when people say they're praying for me. Amen. We all need prayer, don't we? Amen. Uh, this is from Fort Madison, Iowa. God bless you all. And God bless you out there. From Knox City, Missouri. $25 for the HD fund. God bless you for the good work for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And from Palmyra, Missouri, thank you for 16.4, and that's CTN HD channel that you can receive over the air or on dish. And that comes from Clearwater, Florida. Amen. And then God bless all of you from Bridgetown, Illinois. Thank you so very, very much. Amen. Well, today for our bridge, as many of you already know, this past week, Billy Graham went home. He went home. He talked about home for years to people, about heaven. And he talked about hell. But he got to go home and meet Jesus this past week. And in memory of him, CTN made a spot that we're airing on our channel. I'd like to play that for you right now. President Bob DeAndre and the entire staff of the Christian Television Network join together to honor and remember America's pastor, Reverend Billy Graham, one of the greatest evangelists in our nation's history. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm more alive today than ever. Yeah, more alive. And, um, you know, we all have that day that we will stand before the Lord. And will he say, enter in, my good and faithful child? Or will he say, I never knew you? I want to talk a little bit more about that and about Billy Graham as we close the program out today. You know, CTN, we've talked about for over a year now, is hope. CTN itself is not hope. But we bring the gospel of Jesus Christ into your homes, into the nation's. 24 hours, 7 days a week. The gospel of Jesus Christ, that is where the life comes. It's from knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The scripture I want to use today comes from John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is a scripture that you heard Billy Graham repeatedly at his crusades and on television, on the radio. For 70 plus years, he stood on that scripture and he preached it with all of his heart. 
We have a video, about a five minute video here, in tribute to Billy Graham. And it just kind of highlights or gives you a short documentary of his life. So watch this now. It's not often one man is able to move the hearts of nations, to usher change across race and age. But when someone gives their life to a divine calling, amazing things happen. That is the legacy of Billy Graham. Tonight, I am glad to tell you that the Lord Jesus Christ can be received, your sins forgiven, your burdens lifted. was born in 1918, during the end of World War I. Growing up on his family's dairy farm in North Carolina, no one could have imagined what God had in store for this hard-working young man. When he was 13 years old, he was in a play at school. His voice carried so well. I says, I, I just think there's something in that boy that we haven't discovered yet. <laughs> at age 15, he was invited to hear a man named Mordecai Ham preach at a citywide revival meeting. I was taken by a friend, and I became fascinated. And then the Spirit of God began to speak to me as I went back night after night. And uh, one night when the invitation was given, I just said, Lord, I'm going. From this moment, life would never be the same for Billy. A new passion burned in his heart to see lives changed. He went on to college and began preaching the good news of Jesus to anyone who would listen. It was during those years of academics and Sunday sermons that Billy met Ruth. The young missionary girl raised in China would become his best friend, the true love of his life. And he would be the first to say that without Ruth, his growth as a preacher and evangelist would not have been possible. When I came out and saw her standing there, he said, that is Ruth Bell. At that moment, I was in love and not only in love, something told me inside she'll be your wife. Now, it took her nearly a year to come to that same conclusion. Word of his powerful message spread quickly. He preached on the stages of concert halls and auditoriums and over the airwaves of radio and television. And soon, people began lining the streets by the tens of thousands just to hear him speak. We must have peace within our heart. Und bis wir Weltfrieden haben, müssen wir es Frieden. There's only one road to heaven. You say, but if I believe God, isn't that enough? I want to tell you before you leave Madison Square Garden this night of May 15th, you can find everything that you've been searching for in Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. He was a mighty man. The Bible tells us that in spite of our sins and rebellion, that God loves us. As countless people responded to the move of God's Spirit, the demands on Billy seemed constant. But it was Ruth and their children that brought him strength and joy. Their home was a special place where he could simply spend time as a father and loving husband. These moments were precious to Billy. Yes, uh, there is a great sense of loneliness, and if there is a price to pay in this work, uh, it is that, uh, that I'm not with my children. We are supposed to be like Jesus. God's calling on Billy's life took him from the largest stadiums to the most remote villages of Africa. He spoke not only of God's forgiveness, but also against the evils of racism, communism, and social injustice in our world. And don't let anybody ever tell you that it's white or black. Christ belongs to all people. He belongs to the whole world. He was one of the most sought after men of this age, turning down the political stage and Hollywood spotlight in order to continue his ministry to the lost, weary, and forgotten. His message was unfaltering, remaining true to the gospel and his steadfast faith in Christ. I'm asking you tonight to follow him, to serve him, to let him come into your heart and forgive you. Be forgiven! Know that you're going to heaven. What can be said about one man's life? For Billy Graham, 
Let it be said that he lived his life to bring the lost and hurting to Christ. Are you willing to receive Christ tonight? Because you may never have a moment quite like this again. You come and receive him into your heart and say yes to him. Hundreds of you right now, just get up out of your seat and say tonight, I want my sin forgiven. I want to know I'm going to heaven. I want eternal life. I'm ready to surrender my life to Christ as Lord and Savior. I want to follow him from this night on. So in memory of Billy Graham and the passion he had to preach Christ and the cross, I want to end today by giving you that opportunity to come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. John 3, 16, 17 again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. In Romans 3.23 it says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And in Romans 10.13, For whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Today, if you would like to receive the gift that God has for you, say this after me with your heart and your lips out loud. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, thank you that you died for me. I believe that you are risen from the dead. And that you're coming back again for me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the loss. A hunger for the things of God. And a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven. Because I have Jesus in my heart. God bless you. Inside Report with Founder and President Bob DeAndre. Hello again, friends. Well, if you've been watching any of these this week, you're just having a love fest, aren't you? 1 Peter 1.22 says, Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit in sincere love, 